Welcome to the How Are You Healing podcast, brought to you by the WNC Holistic Center, located at 390 South French Broad, here in Asheville, North Carolina. It feels good not to hurt. At the WNC Holistic Center, we work together to create a one-stop healing shop. If you have headaches, back pain, allergies, need to lose weight, or simply want to detoxify your body and have it run in a healthier state, call us at 828-255-8333 or visit wncholisticcenter.com. There's never a charge for consultation, so we can assess risk-free how to help you have a healthier year. At the center, you will find acupuncture, biofeedback, colonics, chiropractic care, ozone therapy, Reiki, neurofeedback, massage, osteopathy, and therapeutic counselors all working together to help you have the healthiest year ever. Call us at 828-255-8333. Dr. Michael Fortini here today with Ellie Pochette. I'm excited to share with you a metaphysician, medium. Ellie has written a book, Hitching a Ride. She has been interviewed on television, radio, and I'm hoping today that what we're going to do is learn some ways that we could relax better. We can de-stress at especially a time where we are now. What could we do to help ourselves get better sleep, wake up in the morning more energized by listening to Ellie? Let's all tune in. So let's talk about you know, what you do and how you help others, because you've been uh, helping people for decades. Yes, like yourself. (laughs) Right. Metaphysician is is part of your title. What what is a metaphysician, Ellie? Basically, uh, meta is, you know, many levels, and physician is technically uh, means healer. So I consider myself a healer on many levels, emotional, physical, spiritual. Yeah, when someone says physician or they ask ask me as a chiropractor, you know, you're not a real doctor, I say, what do you mean? And they say, well, you can't give medicine. So I think the average population believes that real doctors give drugs and other doctors don't. That's my thought. Yeah, yeah, well, you might be right, unfortunately. Hopefully that's changing, it you is. Know, and, right? Leaning it in a is. more holistic, natural, and, and balanced direction. So yeah, so if someone has a headache or a symptom, uh, you know, what, and, and, and they want to see you about that, they get migraines, what, you can't give medication, and you wouldn't want to because that's just masking the symptom. You'd want to get to the basic underlying cause, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. But that's exactly right, Michael. I, um, you know, I, I, a client will, will come to me usually virtually by phone or, or Skype or Zoom, and uh, I have them fill out some initial forms um, to get a basic history. Because um, I do have a, a, a master's degree in counseling, and if that has, you know, that's been very helpful in, in being, being able to recognize symptoms and issues like you know childhood trauma or neglect or or um uh, physical or emotional or spiritual abuse so i have them fill out the forms i scan the forms and while i'm scanning the forms i'm intuiting um you know i'm being drawn to a certain area a certain issue as being the priority for that session and then we talk a little bit about it. You know, it usually resonates. What I get usually resonates with the client. And they say, go ahead. And then I, I clear the issue um, for good in, in that one session. So every, every session I completely heal an issue. Wait, that sounds like if I've had migraines for 10 years and I get them every one, two, three, four times a year, uh, and pills don't work or I don't want to do that anymore. And I've been to a chiropractor and massage and all that doesn't work. I go to you, we sit down, we talk or, or, or do it Skype or on the phone and my migraines are gone. Well, I do differentiate something specific, like an emotional event, um, like a, you know, a specific trauma or the loss of a child or the loss of an adult. And, and the person is grieving. So something that's emotional and specific like that, I can pretty much resolve in, in one session. Wow. When it, yeah. 
Um, you might take a look at the, um, I've got like over 60 video testimonials on the website and on my YouTube channel, which is, you know, it's quite a bit for all, you know, people who I've helped with all different types of issues. What is the channel? It's um, under Phoenix Rising Healing. Okay. Should, should yeah. Um, but to answer your question, when it's a physical or medical issue, especially one that has uh, been there for a long time, that's a little bit more complex. And so there are emotional components to it, which I clear, you know, one issue every session contributing to the migraines. And so it could be one, two, three, four sessions. Uh, and, and, then, and then I move on to the physical, if there's anything left of the physical migraines. Does that much, answer your question? Much, much better. In, in my profession, once again, chiropractic, uh, when we do an examination, if someone is complaining of a migraine, and we'll go back to that, or neck pain, palpation, I can feel the muscles, I can feel where the vertebra may be impinging a nerve, causing pressure, I can take an x-ray, I can see the effects of a misalignment on x-ray. Uh, it's, it's very simple, the spine, puts pressure on a nerve and it gives you a symptom or, or sometimes it doesn't that's even worse but uh but in in your profession in your healing art you, you can't see something that concrete is it more challenging for you because of that or well i'm working on a highly intuitive level so okay. i will often hear what the issue is or as i'm scanning the form i might be drawn to a specific uh, incident that that they wrote on the form and so it, it's all very intuitive but usually okay. I'll, I'll hear the specific issue that needs to be uh, healed that session all right so we use the word healing and this podcast is how are you healing obviously a play on words most people want to know how you're feeling and there's challenges with feeling things and feeling well and not being healthy. So uh, yeah. how do you define healing in your work? What is healing? That's a, that's a good, uh, good question. Um, the best way to, to, uh, to sum it up would be. I want to heal better every day. I want to feel better, but I sure don't want to, feel good and have cancer building. I don't want to feel well and, right. and, and be, be pre-diabetic or about to have a heart attack. There's too many people that are feeling okay and dying. Mm -hmm. So what is healing then? How, does, how do we know if we're healing better? How do you define that? I would say it's the resolution of symptoms, issues, and conditions. And, and the whole system getting stronger rather than weaker. So if I'm working with someone who has cancer, uh, you know, my, my intention and, and plan is just to, to, to do whatever work I need to do, clear whatever issues, often resentment, uh, you know, remaining in the body ends up manifesting in cancer. It's not the only reason, but it's pretty common from what I've worked with. And uh, so as I clear those issues, it, it actually slows down the progression of the cancer and the goal and my intention. And, and usually what happens is I'm, I'm, I've been able to get the cancer to go backwards instead of forwards. So the cancer, yeah, yeah. so it, it sounds as if you're, you're counseling and speaking to someone about a belief system that they have about themselves or someone else that creates resentment so that this belief system within their own mind is blocking their, I don't know, immune system, let's say. And, and that direct correlation, if the immune system isn't functioning 100%, how can it defend the body against attackers? Right. That's right. And resentment is, uh, you know, it's toxic. And, and so people often tend to stuff resentments and past hurts down because it, it doesn't feel good and they don't want to think about it or deal with it. But, you know, stuffing these emotions, these toxic emotions down into the body, the body can also only put up with so much for so long. And eventually it, it rebels. It says, hey, 
I can't do this anymore. And then it starts breaking down. Yeah. So what, what can we do? Uh, obviously contacting you or any, anyone else that's expert in the field to counsel and speak, but what could we do ourselves at home on a, on a daily basis to help um, things like resentment or emotional buildup? Well, focus on positive thoughts. And, um, you know, if, if, uh, if people start to notice themselves going down a negative uh, thought path, then, then they need to be aware of it and gently bring themselves back into a place of neutrality or um, positive thoughts. It's the negative thinking that, it, you know, negative thoughts result in, in uh, negative coming back to us. And thoughts are things. So I would say that's one way, um, having a positive attitude and perspective is also really important. Um, but what I do is literally dissolve the issues that have gotten stuck in the body. So by dissolving those, it's much easier to, to have the positive thoughts and the positive attitude because people feel better naturally. What, what do you do for yourself when it comes to, I mean, I'm guessing you wake up and sometimes just don't feel positive or you're experiencing a family member, friend, something financial, and now you're not positive. You said the first thing is you're conscious of it and then you do something about it positive. What would that be for you? What I do personally is I start every day with a, with a nice cup of Java. It's very important. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> while I'm drinking my coffee, you know, I'm looking out at a pretty scene outside, uh, and I do prayers, prayers, mm -hmm. affirmations, and meditation. And uh, I find that very helpful in kind of resetting myself to have a really good day. Mm. That's nice. That's, that's a ritual every day or close to it? Pretty much every day. I can really feel the difference when I don't do it. I'm not as centered. I, I don't feel as balanced. I don't feel as, as good. Um, you know, it, it, it helps me to, to trust and remember that I'm not doing this alone, that I have a lot of support. I gotcha. I, uh, I did go through the website, saw some pictures, and saw you hanging out with Marianne Williamson back in June. 2015 that must have been exciting very exciting and I don't know if you remember um, if you saw the picture where I was uh, signing a book I actually had brought a book that I wrote and I autographed it and gave it to her as a gift ah uh, hitching a ride yes yes well wow <laughs> I would have loved a follow-up on Marianne saying the book was this or that yeah that yeah, that was a, that was a lot of fun. This is this is a copy of it. Yeah, hitching a ride. So, tell us about the book and and how what was your experience writing that? It was a lot of work, Michael. I you know it's not an easy undertaking to, to write a book and get it edited. There's so many steps to it. Um, but I I you know I did this as a. a as an act of love and service. I, I knew that it was important for uh, my, work, my work here to, to raise people's awareness of the subject matter. How, did it, how did, did it feel fulfilling? Did you feel you got the message out? Was it? Yeah, oh yeah, a lot of people have benefited. I've got some really beautiful reviews. The um, personal assistant, to Neil Donald Walsh, wrote me a beautiful review. She loved the book. Nice. Uh, yeah, and I've, I've gotten some really high, kind of high level um, testimonials about it. In fact, one, one client in Ohio read it three times and then he gave it to his, his minister who said that I was right on the money. You know, a Catholic wow. minister. So Wonderful. I was like, yeah, because yeah. it's very, spiritual based and metaphysical i'm guessing a lot of belief system that would challenge some people anyhow in the book 
Yeah, well, the, the whole reason that I, that I wrote the book uh, was to increase the public's awareness about energies and negative energies and how they can affect us. Uh, you know, that was, you know, the, the book deals with, with my work as a shaman, as a natural born shaman. And um, if Wait, what is that? People are going to say, what is this shaman? What does that mean to you? Well, um, <laughs> what is a shaman? It, it, it's someone who can deal with, with, you know, negative energies that, that people uh, might attract without knowing and they can be influenced by them. I'm, I'm able to uh identify you know who they are and and you know whether they're male or female you know when i'm working with someone and i can find out if they're karmic or random if they're karmic there's always a story there's something that they're upset about from a past life and i find out the story and then i let the client know you know on, while we're on the phone this is all taking place and uh, i i i won't tell you all of uh my process because it's it's pretty unique but but it's effective and and then I'm able to get the uh, the spirit to move on and so it's a healing for the spirit and also for the client okay yeah because I've I've, I've heard shaman and the picture of a shaman and what a shaman looks like is nothing what you look like so it's <laughs> it's it's a picture in my mind of an older man that walks in a robe with a cane and uh but a healer person that understands energies it's 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 in for me uh i was a shaman in a past life for the tribe and so they would the, the people would line up outside the tent and and come to me one at a time and i would remove negative energies that had attached themselves to uh each person right and so i'm i'm, I'm doing that same role in this life again and when i say natural born shaman what i mean by that is i didn't go looking for this i didn't you know go to take any courses i just started remembering how to talk to spirits how to identify them and then how to help them move on okay and and that's okay. without you got to set up some kind of wall so that you don't have the negative energies get onto you i'm guessing i do i do i, I do of some I sort to. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, you know, the Phoenix rising is interesting that you've chosen that symbol uh, for your website, because I, if you if you looked at the podcast, how are you healing? Uh, I don't know if we sent over the image to you, but it is a Phoenix rising oh. with two of the medical snakes of the caduceus wrapped around the Phoenix trying to wow. hang hold them down. So we have the same kind of idea happening here. Where did your idea come from? Well, I'm a, a, a Scorpio, and um, I, I named my, my practice Phoenix Rising Healing many, many years ago because the Phoenix is the highest level of the Scorpio symbol. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so I like to see my clients as you know, kind of rising up from the ashes as, as I work with them and really becoming their, their best self, their strongest and most empowered self. Yeah, that's, that is, uh, that's a path and a mission that I have felt was planted in me. I just, I, I get excited uh, at, at seeing someone moving to the next level, mentally, spiritually, physically, whatever it is, it's just, it excites me to see forward motion and movement in the way that we work with our body or our mind or our heart or the community. Mm -hmm. So you, you have that same thing. I, I can sense and feel, obviously, your mission shows it. We're going to take a quick break here for a sponsor. And uh, when we come back, I'd like to ask you, you know, how did you wind up stepping on this path? Sure. Okay, great. We want right, to thank so our sponsor, WNC Holistic Center, located at 390 South French Broad here in Asheville, North Carolina. At the Western North Carolina Holistic Center, they work together to create a one-stop healing shop. If you have headaches, 
back pain, allergies, need to lose weight, or simply want to detoxify your body and have it run in a healthier state, call them at 828-255-8333 or visit wncholisticcenter.com. There's never a charge for consultation, so they can assess risk-free how to help you have a healthier year. Call 828-255-8333 for your free consultation now. All right, so we're so we're back now, and yeah, if you would, Ellie, share with us how did what inspired you to get onto the path of healing and helping others? It, this is my life calling, and I was really I feel fortunate that I was able to discover it in my twenties. Okay. Um, it was a discovery. It it was it was kind of. Um, like an intuitive knowing and sensing that that I'm here to uh, once again make a big difference and help people and uh, 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 animals. Um, I've been working collectively with wildlife animals remotely, and that is the that's been a, a sort of a next level for me more recently. It's not work that I get paid for as of yet, hopefully eventually. Um, right. But again, it's, you know, it's, it's a, a service of love and I, I do it when I'm not working with clients. I also work with people's pets. In fact, clients, after I work with them and am able to resolve their issues, they start hiring me to work with their relatives, their their adult children, their parents, um, exes, you know, uh, boyfriend. With them knowing it, or without them knowing it. Well, it's it, both. Now, if if say if it's a, a you know a young adult um, child that might not be open to the work, you know, their their personality is maybe defiant and resistant and rebelling. Um, what I do is I connect with their higher self and I get permission that way. Gotcha. And so, so they can be helped and I can be effective. Okay. So part of your work as a medium, am I right there? That that you work knowing, define that medium. Well, a medium is a, a bridge of communication between a person and someone they love in spirit or someone that they have unfinished business with and need to hear from or communicate with. I don't use the mediumship um, skill as much as I do the Pachette healing technique, which is healing things like PTSD, grief, anxiety, depression, anger, even road rage, you know, I, I, there's a testimonial on the website about a woman in her 60s who looked very, very prim and proper, but she would freak out, you know, when someone would cut her off. Yeah, I could relate to that. <laughs> so a lot of, I'm sure a lot of people. <laughs> I'm from New York. That. I don't know where it came from. It's either the I, Italian or the New York or just, <laughs> I don't like road. And it's not rage I go into. I just get very frustrated. And, yeah. So, so I, I could heal that for you in mm. a session and then mm. you would feel neutral, you know, when you're in traffic and the more neutral we feel as we navigate our lives, the more we preserve our bodies and our strength and, and, and our energy. And, and that's done. The work that you do, if you can just explain the Pachette is your last name. Yes, Pachette. Pachettes. So the Pachette, the... Method. Healing technique. Okay, D- define how that what it that is. It's um, uh, we kind of touched on it in in the beginning of the interview where um, I, I have a highly developed ability to not only intuit the root cause of a symptom or a condition or issue, uh, I'm able to literally dissolve it in the client that I'm working with. And I do this by phone and by Skype, by Zoom. And they literally feel the issue dissolving as I'm working with them. They don't have to wait and and hope it works. Like they can literally feel it coming down 
as I work with them. And, and so something that started maybe grief that started at a, a, a nine or a 10 out of 10 will um, end up down to a zero or one by the end of the session. And, and it remains, it, it doesn't come back. It's like, it's, it's done. All right, so it sounds like there's some um, secrets that you can't share and, and uh, <laughs> unless you wanna get detailed, it's just conversation going back and forth, it's intuition that you use, it's counseling, right? A little, a little bit of counseling. The first 20 minutes of the session is a little bit of counseling, suggestions that might come through. And, uh, but really the goal for me is to get to what issue most needs to be resolved and healed for good that session. And so that's what I do the rest of the session is, is dissolve the identified issue and, uh, uh, and, and, and the person often, sometimes they fall asleep. You know, the energy, it's very gentle, but it's, it's so relaxing that they'll often fall asleep where they just get, you know, uh, feeling really good while the issue is, is being resolved. And yeah. So how do we, how do we get in touch with you in case someone listening says, I want to experience this or, explore a consultation what's the best method of doing that sure yeah well my website is phoenixrisinghealing.com okay and it's p h o e n i x risinghealing.com uh yeah, because you know i spelled it wrong right <laughs> well sometimes people do that often they transpose the o and the e yes so i figure if i spell it that helps <laughs> it does <laughs> <laughs> You're back in Massachusetts now, right? I'm in Massachusetts, and I have clients in Asheville and and uh, some of the surrounding towns there. Um, I'm, I'm working currently with a client's dog who had copper storage disease, and um, the the improvement and the results are showing up in the lab work that she had done ag oh, again that's wonderful. recently. Yeah, so the dog's doing a lot better. She's doing better. Um, and then uh, people can also call me, and I'll, I'll call them back, you know, as soon as they have a, a free moment at 508-237-4929. Wonderful. Great. Okay. Well, I want to acknowledge you, Ellie, because uh, the path you've chosen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess or judge. It's, it's not an easy one because of trying to understand the work that you do. Um, it's so easy to go to a doctor and just get a pill. It's what, it's what we understand today. It, you know, allopathic healing is uh, by far more common than any of the work that you and I do. I come from the 1980s where chiropractic, I heard people had a choice to believe in or not believe in. <laughs> Still, of course, today the choice exists. However, I do hear of it a lot less. So thank you for, uh, for, for coming on and spending the time. And I look forward to inviting you uh, back again, if you, if you would. Oh, oh thanks. Well, I, it's been really nice meeting with you, Michael. All right. Well, let's we come do it from, again. Yeah, same genre, same part of the, the country. <laughs> You've been listening to Ellie Pochette, the metaphysician, shaman, medium, author, friend of Marianne Williamson, and Dr. Michael Fortini, me, myself. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Right. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Bye. We want to thank our sponsor, WNC Holistic Center, located at 390 South French Broad here in Asheville, North Carolina. At the Western North Carolina Holistic Center, they work together to create a one-stop healing shop. If you have headaches, back pain, allergies, need to lose weight, or simply want to detoxify your body and have it run in a healthier state, call them at 828-255-8333 or visit wncholisticcenter.com. There's never a charge for consultation, so they can assess risk-free how to help you have a healthier year. Call 828-255-8333 for your free consultation now.